I've had a lot of times where I've been kicked directly in the nuts. All right? It might not seem like that because you might be like, oh, John, you have a, an awesome life, making all this money, you've got a great physique, you've had a lot of success with women. Okay, but I've also had a lot, a lot of failures, all right? And I want to really help you guys to understand how you should handle things that come your way. What I would attribute most of my success in life to is how I've handled those situations, not the, actually the things that I've done right and that I've been successful off the bat, but how I've handled the setbacks that inevitably come. Because what I found is that what makes a man successful is not how little he fails or how much he does right. It's not even how many times he gets back up. Okay, which is important, but it's how quickly he gets back up. So how much do the setbacks set you back? Right. I'll give you an example here. I did this investment. I've talked about it somewhat on this, uh, this channel before where it was a bad investment. Okay. I invested $350,000 with a guy that turned out to be a criminal. He's in jail right now. I lost that whole $350,000. You might think, well, that's not a lot of money to John. It is a lot of money. Okay. Now, when that happened to me, you know, a lot of people, I think, would respond by being extremely upset, trying really, really hard to get the money back, maybe spending two years of their life in a legal battle trying to fight for the scraps, and, and maybe they recover $50,000 or $100,000 of that. You know what I did? Okay, I accepted it. I just said, well, shit, that sucks. And then I said, you know, I just need to make more money. <laughs> okay, and that's what I did. So I started immediately working my ass off to rebuild that to make more money. All right. Now, you might say, well, that's kind of weird, John. That's not what more normal people go through. Yeah, but did you have a girl dump you? Okay. Did you lose some money? Did you have a business venture that didn't work out? Did you get fired from your job? Did you suddenly get hit with depression and you don't know why or lose your motivation in life? Did one of your relatives die? All kinds of shit happened to you. And it might not happen at the scale that it happened to me, but whatever scale it is, right, depending on where you are in life, something can hit you hard and it's all relative to you. And some of the setbacks that, that some people tell me and they complain and whine about, I'm like, that's, that's like nothing, all right? But to them, it's a lot. So it's all up to you. So if something hits you and it hits you hard, all right, you have to respond by not getting upset about that instead just accepting it and then figuring out what can you do what are your options and then move on okay you can't let these things destroy your life because i hear stories from guys all the time where they tell me about some bad thing that happened in their life a lot of times some girl breaks up with them and then they go on this destructive spiral okay they lose their job they stop going to work they stop working on their side business they get fat they get out of shape they end up making their life so much worse and they end up losing all the gain and the progress that they had made in life because they're dwelling on this thing because they're wasting time they're not getting up quickly all right getting up quickly is so key right instead if you can do the opposite right i've got this philosophy in life which is go the other way and so if you can do the opposite thing of what you're inclined to do instead of getting emotional instead of getting upset instead of listening to sad depressing music or blowing off work and just being lazy because you're depressed or something bad has happened to you instead if that can drive you to get on a good diet okay start getting better in better shape to go to the gym to start working on a business to work twice as hard then every time that you get a setback in life okay listen to this this is the key part of this whole video every time adversity hits you every time that you get a setback in life it's going to be a good thing why because you know that it's going to inspire you to work harder okay so the more setbacks you have the more successful you are because the harder you're going to push against that if you can just get that one thing that one concept you don't need any more advice from me the reason why most people aren't successful is because they're doing the default the default is when shit happens to you you take some time you get upset you get emotional you stop doing what you're doing and you you fall backwards all right now if you want some help with this and some support it helps to have accountability click the link down below join the bulldog mindset membership I've got a ton of videos in there on how to become a better man. If you're going through some shit right now, okay, and most of us are, join there. Get in there because there's guys in there that will help you that are going through the same shit, okay, that have gone through that shit before. And there's a ton of stuff in there for you to start working on every aspect of your life, right? I've purposely created video lessons on how to date, how to get women, how to be more attractive, okay, on how to build your finances, how to build a business, how to start investing, okay, how to hustle up 
and get a, a promotion at your job. And then how to improve your physique, how to lose weight, how to gain muscle, how to do all those things and develop the, the mindset that you need to be successful. Heck, if you want to run a marathon, there's information on how to get started and how to run a marathon in there, right? Toughen the fuck up. All right. So anyway, guys, this is just a critical message that I wanted to get out to you guys about dealing with adversity because you're going to get kicked in the nuts. Pain is coming for you, whether you like it or not. So you need to harden up. That means doing hard shit before uh, you have to, okay, so that you're prepared for it. And it means that when the shit happens, you go the other way. Go the other way. Handle it by doing the opposite of what most people do, and you're going to find success.